Did you know that having a refund policy for your digital shop is critical? No, seriously, you could be missing out on sales and seriously hurting your business if you don't have one of these puppies in place. A refund policy is one of the easiest ways that you can set yourself up for success and set yourself apart from your competition. Basically, refund policies come with the territory. They are a non-negotiable for your digital product shop. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set that up. Hello everyone, I'm Christina Scalera and I help you with your de-commerce, that is digital commerce, which is digital products sold through an online storefront. The first thing we wanna do is establish what a refund policy is going to be. For example, in my online store, I have a 14 day any reason refund policy. That means that if your dog gets sick and you need to free up that credit on your credit card for the vet bill, you can ask for a refund for the products from my shop. If you just don't like the products, they weren't a good fit, you can ask for a refund from my shop up to 14 days after your purchase. The 14 days feels really generous on your part because they have a whole two weeks to dive into your digital product and see if it's a good fit for them. But for you, it's not so long that it's going to disrupt your sales cycle or your numbers projections or anything like that that you have for the month. One reason I don't have a shorter policy is actually because when it comes to buyer psychology, they are most likely going to forget about the refund policy if I give them 14 whole days to make their mind up as to whether they wanna keep this product or not. If it's seven days, most people can remember to ask for a refund within that allotted time frame. If it's 30 days longer than what I give people, they know they're going to forget, so they will schedule it into their calendars make sure you request refund or double check with refund by this date. 14 days feels long enough that they are going to remember on their own, but not so long that they're gonna need that calendar reminder that they're gonna set up for themselves. So a little sneaky psychology, I guess, but it really is a win-win for both of us because as a small business, I really can't just sit around and wait 30 days to see if someone's gonna change their mind, but I also can offer them some peace of mind in their buying process by making sure I take the risk out of that purchase and give them two whole weeks to go through a product that should really only take them about 30 minutes to go through. Once I've decided on my refund policy, I make sure that it is clearly stated in a couple locations. So let me flip the screen around and show you exactly where those are. We're here on my shop and this is exactly where I put the refund policies. So if you scroll to the bottom, the one that says refund is the one where it's located and then people can refer to my refund policy. And then if we go to any of the products on my website and we scroll down, there's going to be a refund section right there in clear, unambiguous terms for anyone to see. And I also, if you scroll down, I reinforce that right here by telling them that this is a no hassle return and will honor the return within 14 days of purchase. Now that you know where to put your refund policy, the next question you might have is, well, it's a digital product. Aren't people going to like steal this thing or just lie to me or keep it? These are all valid concerns and definitely something that I always have in the back of my mind. However, the thing that makes my refund different than anybody else that's out there is I actually have them sign an affidavit that says that they are not going to continue to use this. They are going to delete any copies they have off of any hard or cloud drives that they have in their possession. And it also tells them that I reserve the right to check and see if they're using this product at any point. Now, I know this isn't gonna be possible for everybody given the nature of your digital products compared to mine, but I do know that given this big scary affidavit, 99.9% .9 of people are gonna be like, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna follow the rules and I'm gonna do exactly what they tell me to do. I can tell you from experience, the bad eggs are gonna find a way no matter what. So it wouldn't matter if you had an affidavit or a different refund policy or no refund policy, the bad eggs are gonna be the bad eggs and I wouldn't worry about that 0.01%. There you have it, my refund policy, how I set it up, where it's located, why I have the refund policy that I have broken down in detail, step-by-step step in this video. And the best refund tip I can possibly give you is that you should like this video because my little source says you didn't like this video yet. And it's really, it's hurting my feelings. If you're ready to have a rock solid refund policy, you're definitely gonna wanna check out my refund template linked below this video. And I get it, refunds can be really scary, but you shouldn't let that hold you back because there's gonna be a lot of things in this business journey that are scary. So conquer this, 
take this one big step forward and you can set yourself up for a lot of security later on. You're not going to want to miss next week's video because I'm going to show you exactly how your refund policy is going to prevent the dreaded charge back. Plus having that refund policy is really going to show your buyers that they can trust you and help you to get more sales. In fact, when we created our 14 day, any reason refund policy, we saw refunds uptick by 1%, but our sales uptick by, well, <laughs> it's double digits. So we had a lot more sales, even though our refund rate just slightly increased. And if you're looking for the best way to make all of this so much easier for yourself, make sure you click the video that just popped up on your screen. In that, I go over the Shopify apps that help me to run my store in a more automated, passive way so that I can peace out on vacation or tonight to my new house and get to go see lots of different things while my shop continues to make money. Click that video and I'll see you over there.